A very good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, and welcome to another episode here on the Life Signatures Radio. This is a daily show on teaching, on motivating, on inspiring, on instructing these subjects of purpose, productivity, and resilience, three critical subjects in life that anybody who wants to be successful or anybody who is successful has these three pillars going on. And right now we are in the middle of a long series, which we started two weeks back, and we have been talking daily Two weeks back, we've been talking about blockades in our lives. And we are dealing with another type of a blockade. Of course, we've taken taken, uh, some time and dealt with one type of a blockade, which is the mental blockade. But right now, starting yesterday, we've been dealing with the spiritual blockade. I did explain to us how the spiritual can easily become a blockade or the setup of the spiritual so that we can understand where the blockades come in. Today, we start going deeper into that area. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Well, it's good to know what a blockade is before we can go so far. These are things that we have propped up. We have believed them as if they are facts. And in so doing, they have hindered us to be what we could be. To hinder our possibilities. Even though, by the way, there is the car you've bought, the car you've bought, the house You've got married, you've got nice kids, you've got curtains on your house, you've got data on your phone, you've got fuel, full tank, and you have holidays twice a week, I mean, okay, twice a month, twice a year. That could be going on, but still, there is a blockade of what you could be. That's what we are addressing. So the first blockade we talked about was the mental blockade. But today, we started yesterday talking about the the spiritual, sorry, the the spiritual blockade. The spiritual blockade. What are the manifestations of a spiritual blockade? I'm going to name several and today we're just going to look at one. Number one, lack of purpose. Purposelessness is a spiritual blockade i know i talked about this in some episodes back where i said that vision okay i'm gonna go ahead and gonna go back because vision is coming up also these things if you don't have vision if you don't have purpose you are like a freeloader like a ship on a shore or the ship on the sea with no coxswain it is tossed around and it ends up in whatever direction is going to go the waves just work on it. And that's the same thing with a man or a woman who has no definition of who they are in terms of their purpose. What are you going to do without your purpose? You cannot do nothing without purpose. Now, I've said this very many times. Sometimes we unconsciously know what our purpose is because we, we navigate in life through our value systems. The value systems that we have, even though we've not defined them, they, they help us, they guide us. And that is in, those, is, is in those realms, it is in those realms that we find where our purpose is. But lack of purpose is where the manifestation of a spiritual blockade starts from. 
it is tricky to say lack of purpose by the way because in all due honesty there is no one on earth there is no human being who is purposeless at least from the idea of the designer the idea of the divine the idea of the creator there is no one who was created without a purpose if i believe in god if you believe in god you cannot tell me that god allowed you to exist without you having a purpose what kind of god would that be what kind of god would that be to create have you ever even you as a human being have you ever made something that is purposeless have you ever made a cup that cannot be used have you ever made a, a computer program that is useless have you ever made a machine that is useless a microphone that cannot be used no everything we have created as human beings whether individuals or companies and whatever we have created them with a purpose how much more about you being created by god if you do believe in god there is no human being who was created without a purpose purpose is not an empirical thing it is an it is like eternity it is you cannot touch it you cannot see it but it is there it is there it is the centerpiece of life purpose dwells in the uniqueness of each one's heart who is alive anyone who is alive you have purpose it is one of the most powerful em- elements on the face of the earth success or failure are always in the realms or in the confines of purpose or lack of it when you see a firefighter risking his life to save a, a doll that a young girl is crying about it will be because of purpose when you see business thrive and businesses thrive and there is a global reach it will be because there is purpose in there the moment life does not pay attention to purpose their own purpose that is the most that is the moment that a, a spiritual blockade is activated and unfortunately this moment is pervaded all throughout i have no idea why we don't talk about purpose in school institutions even institutions of higher learning purpose is what you were created to do it's what i was created to do if i have no idea what it is chances are that i am operating under a spiritual blockade tell me what am i going to do if i don't know what to do and the problem is that we are so adept at doing it is just that we don't have direction we are so adept at doing i mean we run elter skelter going the streets today you find people running elter skelter all over the place where are you going why are you going where are you going that will be purpose at the back of it all we should be we should be directed motivated inspired guided moved by purpose so if you want to make sure that you are obliterating any spiritual blockade in your life it is probably enough for you and I to start discovering what our purpose is god in his word he says my people my people perish for lack of knowledge for lack of vision where there is no vision people cast off restraint when we don't have knowledge of our vision knowledge of our purpose we are operating under a blockade it is like a guy who has been destined to inherit an an, an estate but he doesn't know he will never inherit as long as he's not in the know he will never inherit it in fact by the way could be passing by it every single morning on his day to to a, to a hustle every single morning he passes by the estate that is supposed to be his but the fact that he does not know he cannot access it he cannot ch- take his mind and, uh, and 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 obtain it that's the same thing with our calling the same thing with our purpose in life If I don't know what my purpose is I cannot attain it. If I don't know what my calling in life is I cannot attain it. It doesn't make it doesn't mean that I, I cannot have a job. I can have a job. It doesn't mean that I cannot have a family. I can have a family. It doesn't mean that I cannot have a car. I can have a car. It doesn't mean that I cannot have a house. I can have a house. Remember we say that all these things can be going on but I am under a blockade. 
What is a blockade? It is something that blocks me to what I could be. What I could be is in the confines of what I, am, I was meant to be. What I was called to be. That is my purpose. So if I don't know what my purpose is, then I cannot fulfill that purpose. I cannot live that purpose. The Bible tells us that we are the workmanship of God. We were created beforehand for exploits, for major things, for, for His purpose. What if I don't know what that purpose is? Can I say really I'm, I'm, I'm God's workmanship without knowing His purpose for my life? So if we're going to obliterate any personal blockades from our lives, we will need to take care of our purpose and we'll need to know what it is. Well, tomorrow we continue on that one, but until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.